Welcome to my new series, Top 5 Lists. The point is to help you figure out which ships are great for what you want to do in the game. We'll mostly talk about ships that are currently in game. If we do talk about a ship that is still in concept, just be aware that is theory crafting. And remember, digital ships aren't imaginary. Digital ships are imagine necessary. Before we start, I am giving away an account with an Avenger Titan with a Stella Fortuna weapon. I'm also giving away a 400 eye skin and a 600 eye skin for a total of not one, not two, but three prizes. To enter the contest, make sure you're subscribed to Billionaire Ninjas. Leave a comment on at least one video and like or dislike this video. When you win, I will verify through social media. So make sure you go and follow Billionaire Ninjas page at Ninjas Leap on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok. The three winners for each contest will be announced at the end of March 2024 and we'll have two weeks to claim the prize. The first person to verify gets to choose the best prize. So although you have two weeks, you'll want to reach out fast. So make sure you're watching every video as soon as possible to be the first to grab the grand prize. Today, our focus is the top five ships in the game for cargo. Anytime you do a list like this, there will surely be people who disagree or have a different list. So make sure you leave your top five list in the comments below so people can see what your list looks like because that is why we do things like this, not to be the definitive voice on the issue, but to start a conversation. We won't fully review these ships, just a few notes about why we like them. You'll have to check out our Review Every Ship by CitizenCon 2024 playlist if you want a more in-depth look at these ships. Also, this list is as of 3.22.1. I'll try to do a new one for each patch if the list changes. So this one is really going to be based on the best all around cargo ships. And believe it or not, it's not all about capacity. I mean, if it was, then all I would do is just list the MISC hull series and be done with the list. So there's more to it than just how much a ship can carry. It's also about how much do these ships cost, their value, how well they are able to load and unload cargo, and do they add a multi-role that makes the cargo capacity even more useful, among a few other things. So let's get started. Our first ship, number five, the M2 Hercules at 520. Yeah, you heard that right. I picked the M2, not the C2 for the list of best cargo ships. Before you read me the riot act, consider what we said about capacity not being the end all be all. If you wanna carry more, sure, you can get the C2, but the M2's prized possession is its ability to do cargo without needing a security force to go along with it because of the increased armor and increased weaponry. A reminder that the C2 does not have a tractor beam. If it did, it would be the obvious choice. But because neither of them do, the M2 wins by saving me more money on security than I most likely would earn with 174 more SCU of cargo that has to be unloaded slowly. But a big win for this ship is that it also applies to the C2 that it can carry its cargo internally. Not to mention doing bounty missions in this thing, you can load up some very expensive plunder from your defeated enemies and not have to return to base until you've done multiple missions. After the M2, we move to number four, the Hull C. This ship, and in fact, most of the Hull series, nearly priced themselves out of the cargo conversation. But luckily, the Hull C can still be had at a decent price if you play the CCU game. I would still be remiss if I didn't have at least one of these on the list. So I picked the best one, the Hull C. This is the best bang for your buck of the dedicated cargo and hull C series because it carries an incredible amount of cargo, is not as slow as its big brothers, and doesn't take the wealth of a small country to fill it to the max with cargo. Make sure you bring a decent crew to help load and unload and make sure you also bring a ton of security, but this thing is actually quite tough, so don't think it can't take a few hits. It's just really, really, really slow. All that being said, it still ain't cheap, and neither is the cost to fill it, but it will definitely net you a gross amount of money. Moving on to our next one, number three, the Zeus Mark II CL. Now, I know this one's gonna surprise some people, but the stats show why it makes number three. Let's start with the fact that it's not defenseless and has a decent weapon loadout showing it can stay and fight. It also comes with a massive shield loadout. We're talking three size, two shields, so, even if it has to run, it will have plenty of time along with a lot of redundancy. Then it carries 128 SU of cargo, which is more than the Mercury Star Runner for more than $100 less and adds a tractor beam that the Mercury does not have. It 
also might be the best value cargo ship in the entire game. And right now, it's a ship I suggest as an advanced starter for pretty much anybody who isn't combat focused. I think this ship is going to be one of those ships that goes heavily underrated. Then we have number two. The Drake Caterpillar at $330. This ship has not one, but two tractor beams. This ship is one of the most modular ships in all of Star Citizen, meaning it will be able to do more multi-role things than any other ship on this list. It's an awesome looking ship. The command module can detach from the main ship so you can move another Caterpillar's hull without ever leaving your own ship. Not to mention, you have solid weapons on board and an air shield for vehicle loading at the front. Did I mention it has two large shields and a ton of hull HP? It's the only ship on the list where it could potentially be the only ship you ever need in the game. It's a well-loved ship and for a good reason. And I argue even as a well-loved ship, it still somehow feels underrated. 576 SU of cargo is good for most people for the entire rest of the game. Need to make more money? Who wants to load more containers? Just buy better quality merchandise to sell. Before we go to number one, as always, let me do my honorable mention. The Anvil Liberator. Now, I have to say when this thing first came out, I had no idea or what its value would be. And I didn't even take it seriously. I don't even think I looked at the stats. But I recently reviewed the Liberator and found out it carries a whopping 400 SCU of cargo on top of the fact that it carries two vehicles, three spaceships, and seats 16 people in drop seats. I mean, if you're not sure what you're going to have to transport when you go wherever you're going, just take the Liberator and you don't have to worry about it. It can carry everything and then some. However, this is more of a carrier than a cargo ship. So I'll save it for when I do best carriers or something else like that. And for this list, I'll just leave it as an honorable mention. But I I couldn't leave it off. It, it carries stuff, you know? It's 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 not just cargo, but it carries a lot of stuff. Uh, but I think it's $575, so yeah, I'll leave it for another list. All right, onward to number one, the Banu Merchantman. This is definitely going to shock some people, but maybe, Maybe not. After all, the Merchantman is a merchant ship and it's one of the most expensive ships in the game. However, lean back and listen for a bit. The Merchantman carries 2,880 SCU of cargo, which let's be honest, you'll never need to carry more than that unless you're just trying not to make extra trips. On top of that, it has the single best weapons loadout of any ship in the game that is not a dedicated combat ship. Next, it's the only cargo ship with a medical station and both a dedicated hangar for a light fighter and a dedicated vehicle bay. I'm still going. It also has a full-fledged gantry crane inside to move cargo around along with tractor beams. Did I mention the cargo was internal instead of external like on the whole sea? The market is also an added bonus because what better way to unload your cargo than to have people come to you on your ship, buy it, and haul it away for you. And if that wasn't enough, the ship was sold at $250 at concept, making it one of the cheapest cargo ships in the game, if you were smart enough to at least invest in it back then. I mean, not only is this the best cargo ship in the game, it's also one of the best overall ships in the game. If you have the money, pick up a merchantman before the price goes up again. Sure, play the CCU game, and try to get it as cheap as possible, but this is not a ship to pass up, cargo or no cargo. So there you have it, our top five cargo ships to purchase as of 3.22.1. Let us know your top five in the comments and stay tuned for the top five support ships. We suggest renting ships and trying them out for yourself before you make a decision. It's your money after all. But no matter what ship you get, I wanna be clear, no ship will be a perfect ship. You'll always have to get the right ship for the right job and everything will be pushed to be balanced. So it's more important to pick a ship that you like and don't mind flying rather than trying to min max your cargo hauling potential. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for spending your time with us. See you in the next one. Peace.